Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Steven. So admittedly, I have a problem with going to Goodwill. You've probably noticed it, right? I blame Thrifting Vegas. Uh, she has a YouTube channel and she just goes to uh, Goodwill and browses the shelves and her videos are like 45 minutes, if not longer, like mine. Uh, but she just like scans the shelves at Goodwill and I go along with her every single time. So she has sort of put the bug under my skin. Is that the correct analogy? But I have really gotten this little habit with going to Goodwill. Um, usually if I go, I'll show you shortly after I go whatever I bought, like a little mini U uh, Goodwill haul. But over the past couple weeks, I've gone to Goodwill a few times more than a few times, and I've put together a collection of things. I'm eventually going to try and sell these things on eBay. Mostly, it's just the adventure of finding something on a shelf. Um, it's just it's just fun. I'd, if it came to like eating out or going to Goodwill, it would be Goodwill. A movie or Goodwill, Goodwill. It's going to be Goodwill like all the time. But So I really enjoyed um, shopping at Goodwill lately. I've put together a pile of things that I think are pretty fantastic and I'm really looking forward to listing on eBay or Etsy or any of those sites. Um, one of the things I typically don't buy are cl is clothing. I don't buy clothing very often. I bought two shirts though for myself, one of which, hi voila, um, no visible sign of wear. It was crisp as if it were just pressed when I picked it up, it was $5.99. And I love this shirt. It fits me beautifully. Great colors. And it goes beautiful with a lot of my uh, clothes. So I'm very excited about it. Um, so um, I just have to be wearing this shirt. So I thought I'd show it to you now. What I'm going to do over the course of today, maybe tomorrow, is film little clips showing you what I got at uh, Goodwill. Because there's a pile of stuff and I really can't do it all in one quick go. Plus, I have to head out to my pottery class in about 15 minutes. So I'm going to show you this. Maybe I'll show you one or two other things, and then I will see you either later on tonight or tomorrow. All right. Uh, get ready. Get a glass of wine, a cup of coffee, a cup of tea. It's going to be a while. It's going to be a long video. Sorry. Hello, Eleanor. Eleanor is sitting pretty under one of my favorite Goodwill finds. And this is a chair that I found at Goodwill. It is designed, oh, I forget his name. I'll have to look it up. It's designed for a company called Brown and Saltman. Uh, it's called a Safari Sling Chair. It's got a little bit of damage on the seat right there, but that's, that's about it. It's in really, really, really good shape. And I found this chair on eBay for between four and six hundred dollars. Um, elsewhere online, I've seen it for up to like a thousand dollars or more. So I'm kind of excited about this chair. I think I forgot to tell you how much I spent on that chair. It was $6.99 at Goodwill. $6.99. If I can sell it for a couple hundred bucks, I'll be happy. This is one of two pieces of furniture I bought. It's a table, an end table slash magazine rack uh, by a company called A. Brandt Ranch Oak. Um, this piece is probably made in the 80s. They started making their furniture in like 1938 or something, and they ran until 1988, I think. I think this is a newer piece because the top is actually a veneer. Uh, where the rest of it is solid oak. But um, the drawer, and there's its little like logo thing, has um, a knob, you can't see, on both ends. So it's it, you can kind of pull it out either direction, and it's got this uh, magazine rack kind of thing. Now, I've seen ones with a, an oak top, not the veneer, on eBay for like $400. I think there's one for $500. So again, if I can get a little bit of money for that, I'll be very, very happy. Guess how much I paid for this one? $4.99. I know, I know. Uh, so I'm uh, hoping to get just, just a, a little bit of money. Um, but it is really fantastic. If it were a little bit more mid-century, I'd keep it for myself. And this thing on top of the table is actually a set of 
six coasters. Uh, this is acacia wood on top, and this is cast aluminum alloy. It's by a company called Nambe, right there. Now, I only know of them because we used to sell a lot of their giftware at Neiman Marcus. Uh, so these coasters, they spiral when you set them on top of each other. I have to clean them a little bit. Uh, but I paid $4 for the set. And I think new or in good condition on eBay, I've seen these for 100 bucks, if not more. Again, if I can get, you know, 30, 40, 50 bucks or whatever, I'll be very happy with them. Although I might keep them because, I mean, they're really cool. But we'll see. I know you're thinking, Stephen, what the hell is that? It's a basket. It's a basket made out of twigs. I just think it's the most interesting thing. I saw it and I had to grab it immediately. Uh, I'm going to keep it for myself, I think. I'm going to probably use this on my coffee table and swap it out with my candle holders and stuff like that once in a while. I don't know. I'll do something with it. Uh, I loved it and it was um, $3.99 right there um so i just think that's the coolest thing i know it's hideous it looks like some sort of alien that's going to kill me in my sleep but i think it's cool and this is a candle holder that i'm going to keep for myself eventually when i get my bedroom set up or decorated somehow i see it in there uh it's a candle holder that i think is from like the 70s or the early 80s um i have to wash it and there's some tape on there but you can take the top off and put a taller, tall candle in there, or you can throw this in there and put a votive or a short pillar. Uh, and I think I spent, I, I think this was honestly $1.99, and I, I really do love it. And here's further proof that I'm a little old lady. I saw this and almost gasped. I loved it so much. Um, it's a piece by a company called Verlis, Verlis, I don't know. It's a signed piece. It's a French company. Um, the originals were made in like 1930 or something. This piece was um, made in the U.S. in Ohio using the original French molds. I don't really know how much it's worth. I paid $6.99 for it. Um, I've seen the originals uh, that are from Paris um, go for a lot of money, but isn't that pretty? It's um, birds with uh, bees and dragonflies. I have a sticker I have to get off the middle, but I just think that's so beautiful. This is, that's the front, that's the back. It makes me think of Lalique actually, but I think it's very pretty. I thought these were charming. It's a pair of bookends of, um, are these border collies or the collies? Look how sweet that is. Um, they were made in Germany. I saw a similar pair uh, made in Japan that had corks on the bottom. They're filled with sand so that they have some weight to them. But uh, the ones in Japan weren't painted as nicely as these. Look how pretty that is. And um, the pair was $5.99. And I think that's just really fantastic. You know, I'm a cat person, but boy, I, I can't help but fall in love with these little puppies. Look at their ears. But I thought that it was a really nice find. Here's a little gnome figurine that I love. He was uh, $2.99, but look at his little face. Look at his cheeks and the B on his hat. Come on. Um, I have a little sense of nostalgia. Uh, one of the few books my mother had in the house was uh, this book about the lives of gnomes. And uh, this, little, this little guy was in that book and I just love him. It's by a company called Inesco out of Taiwan. Um, not very valuable, but I just love him. I'm gonna keep him. I might pop him on one of my plants. All right, I'm taking a risk on this one. It's a bobblehead of Pee Wee Herman uh, by Royal Bobbles. Now, I did a little bit of looking online. There's one of him with a Santa hat on that's very, very popular and very common. There's very few of this one. Uh, and I forgot how much money they were going for, but they were going for a fair amount of money. The box is in good shape. Uh, he's inside completely new. He's never been uh, really unwrapped. I paid... $6.99 for him. We'll see what I can get for him. 
And this is just some silly little framed image of a little house with Christmas lights and it's got a little bit of glitter. I just think it's so pretty. The, the light in the background and the blue of the snow. It costs, I think, two bucks. Uh, and I'm gonna, oh, three dollars. I just, I'm gonna put it on the mantle during the holidays. I just think it's very, very pretty. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> and this is something I bought for myself. Just real fun. They're real eggs. They're real hen eggs that have been blown out and then decorated. I think they're from Hungary. Uh, and it's all been hand painted, hand decorated. Right, that's blurry. There we go. Just really pretty. I think the four of these were three dollars or or I think it was a dollar ninety nine for the four of them. I just think they're so pretty. And for Easter, they're really cute in a little bowl. Look how pretty. And they're real legs. So you can see the hole right there. But I love those. And that's just something for my table during Easter. If I can get this into some shadow, that's better. This is a needlepoint or a cross stitch uh, or something. I don't know if they're trying to emulate uh, or copy a famous picture. It looks like an image that I'm familiar with. It's a lady. It looks like she's sewing uh, at a table. I don't know. It's some There's a vase with roses. Uh, but I just love that. You can actually tell that there's a little painting of a landscape off on the left, she's got a vase of flowers and stuff. Um, the carpet down there, that little chair or sofa off on the end. And I even love the wallpaper is <laughs> yellow stripes. But um, I don't know anything about this or its value, but I thought it was really neat. Uh, and it was, whoop, how much was it? It was $6.99. So I figured I'll look into it and see if I can't resell it. If not, I mean, I might just keep it. It's kind of cool. What do you think, Eleanor? <laughs> I found this for myself. I have to give it a little wash because it's really dusty. Uh, but this is a signed lithograph by an artist that I'm not quite sure if I could pronounce. So I'm not going to bother. It's number 56 of 100. The title is Chow Chow Kittens, uh, and I am in love with this little image. I just think it's so pretty. I don't want a house full of cat stuff, but this I couldn't resist. It's got uh, five little kittens, and I just love how she did the whiskers. <laughs> I just think that's so sweet. And uh, she sells her stuff online, uh, but I'm going to keep this for myself because I just think it's so precious. I paid $8.99 and I just love it. I may one day have it reframed because I'm not digging that blue, but who knows? I might keep it like that. Here is another piece of clothing I bought, but not for me. It is for a Chicago Cubs fan. Um, I think it's hysterical. It's like a, a ugly Christmas sweater for a Chicago Cubs fan. Uh, it. I don't even know if it has been worn before I got it for $10. So I was very happy. I've seen one more on uh, eBay. It was like 50 bucks or something for a double X. So I'm, I'm thinking a medium might sell better. So wish me luck on that one. This is just a, a navy polka dot shirt that I love. I probably have two or three just like it, but this was $5.99. It was in fantastic condition and it fit me really well. So that's for me. I promise that my house is not going to turn into a house full of cat knickknacks, but I could not leave this little ceramic cat um, in Goodwill. It was $3.99, and I think it's absolutely hysterical. It's going to be like a doorstop or something, but I couldn't let this cat stay at Goodwill. What did I just say about cat stuff? I know, I know, I know. It's a little planter. Uh, someone's used it as a little planter. I'm going to put a spider plant in the top there. She's hand-painted. Those little roses are hand-painted. And I just think that this is the sweetest little kitty cat. Um, I don't know anything about it, but marked at $1.49. I'll keep her. What a cutie. And this is just a little votive holder, which I thought was very pretty. I just thought that was great. I love candles. I'll put it up on the mantle during... Um, the holidays I think it's pretty and speaking of on the mantle I've got something else I got there I'm not sure if you can see it very well um, 
I just found this at Goodwill. I thought, gee, it looks just like a cat, kind of with the ears, you know. Uh, and indeed, it's supposed to be a cat. This, it's on the bottom. It says Hemingway or something like that. So I Googled it, and this one artist would turn these um, glass insulators, I guess from power cables and stuff like that on telephone poles, uh, he would melt them and turn them into pieces of artwork. He does cats or he did cats and he did like an alien or something, uh, but there weren't that many on online. I just thought it was really interesting. Uh, he uses a piece of wire to pull the glass up into the shape of ears. So I don't know if I'll keep it, if it, if it, can sell on eBay, but I just think it's very interesting. And next, I saw this little tumbler. It's white porcelain. The inside's bright yellow, and I thought it was so pretty. Uh, and I looked at the bottom. It said it's um, Anthropology. It says underneath that sticker, you see it's 69 cents. It's from Anthropology. And then I looked at the side, and I, I can read. Can you read that? Universe. I listen. I believe. I grow. I love. And I thought, Oh, that's awfully pretty. I don't know what I'll do with it, but I'll keep that for myself. And this thing, I don't know what it was intended to be for. It was $1.49. Uh, is it a meat tenderizer or a, a implement of torture? I don't know. But what I'm going to use this for is like a mortar and pestle. This is going to help me grind up. It's going to help me grind up uh, pieces of broken dry clay to make slip for my pottery so that'll be a little pottery tool but in the end everything becomes a pottery tool truth this i was very excited to find this is for me uh this is a one liter it's handmade uh stoneware it's a one liter beer stein uh and that logo is for Hofbrau, which is a beer that was a local beer in stuttgart when i when i lived there in germany it's uh, one liter, and it's handmade. I got it for five ninety nine, and uh, these things at the Hofbrau House, at the Hofbrau little Hofbrau House in here in Vegas. Those mugs are like I don't know thirty dollars, something crazy. I don't know. But when I was ten, story there's a story about everything. When I was 10, 11 years old, my mother and my stepfather would take me to Oktoberfest in Germany. My mother and I would have a contest. Who could steal more beer mugs, beer steins? I know. That was my childhood. I don't know about yours, but mine was competing to see who could steal more beer steins. Uh, so you you gave, it was two marks for a beer, a, a liter of beer. Two marks. You would uh, drink your beer, bring the stein back, and they give you a mark back as a way to encourage you to, to um, you know, return the mugs. Well, my, I would steal three, uh, six of them at a time. I would hold three by the handle in both hands with my jacket over one bundle and my mother's jacket over the other. So one night, I think I stole like 16, 18 of these mugs uh, and uh, I won. I won the, the game. That's my childhood. <laughs> this is something I thought would be kind of pretty. It's called a fly catcher i don't know um it hangs outside and uh, you turn this you bend the inside so it's like um a spiral almost and it spins in the wind and i thought it would be very pretty i thought it would be nice outside my front window under the awning um so that buddy and the cat uh, you know the cats could look out and see something moving out there i'm gonna have to take it down often enough though because the wind here in vegas can be awful I can imagine this flapping against the side of my house. Hmm, maybe I won't use it. It was $3.99 or something, yeah. So no big loss if I don't use it. Here's more proof that I'm a little old lady, if you didn't already believe me. But this is a piece of um, Lennox. Uh, you can see down there. Uh, made in the USA. Hand decorated with 24 karat gold. Uh, so the edge is all done in gold, and it's all really nicely intact. It just needs to be washed because it's filthy. But it's a little dish, but it's also, if you look by the side, it's got a profile of a little bird. Isn't that fun? I love that. Now, if it doesn't sell on eBay, I will uh, keep this happily for myself. I think it's lovely. 
This is a piece of pottery, obviously, and while I make my own pottery, I thought this was actually very, very nice. Um, I love this uh, glaze. I think it's a chino. Um, it looks like a chino to me, but it's got this like warm toastiness, like creaminess there. And if you look, there's like a metallic kind of coppery bit there. Um, I just think that's very pretty. It was $5.99. And it's pretty big. You can see the, the size of my hand. So uh, right now I'm putting coins in there. <laughs> it's my piggy bank. And last but not least is a blazer. It's a corduroy, a pretty thin whale corduroy in camouflage, obviously with like barn pockets. It's um, It was super cute. It fit me really, really well. I already have cat hair on it. Um, it was $12.99. And instead of like a sweater or a sweatshirt or a hoodie, I put blazers on. I wear blazers fairly often as a layering piece. And this with a black t-shirt and a pair of jeans was super cute. So... I was pretty happy with that. It looks like it was unworn. I don't wear clothes from Goodwill that often. I already have cat hair on here, um, but it was $12.99, and I was very, very happy with that. Hey, buddy. <laughs> buddy has not been enjoying me videoing my haul. I need to brush you. Ta-da! That's my Goodwill haul. In fact, that's probably four separate trips to Goodwill that I just put together all in one video. Um, I think there were some pretty fantastic things in there. I'm going to plan on reselling most of that. The things I told you I'm going to keep are just for me, but I've got some shelves in the garage to put these things on. Um, I have to get my butt in gear. I went on to eBay to see if I still have an active profile because I haven't sold anything in forever. So I have to get that uh, situated get some packing materials, and actually list these things. Uh, that's the first step, right? Uh, so that's my goal is to list these things maybe after I get back from this, this next work trip. Um, what's your favorite thing? What do you think is the best thing in terms of resale value or maybe your favorite thing? What's the one thing you think I should have, well, resisted the, the urge to purchase? I'm sure there's something in there. Maybe that bowl of twigs. <laughs> But um, there you go. So let me know what you think and I will see you soon. All right. Fly safe. Bye.